I worked for the man, Freddie Mercury, more than the superstar, Freddie Mercury. He had this sort of magnetism, I suppose. He could walk into any room and automatically heads just turn. That was what it was like. I think he would be astounded that a documentary like this has been made about him. It's going to be the nearest to the real Freddie Mercury because you will get all the different Freddies. This one came into the chart at 23 in October. She keeps him away Shonda in a pretty cabinet. Let them eat cake, she says, just like Marie Antoinette. Really, he was two people. I mean, both of them were real. Both of them were the real Freddie Mercury. There was the, the Freddie that the whole world knew, the Freddie from the stage, the performer, the, you know, the giant who could do anything. But at home, he just loved peace and quiet. He was very shy, in fact. He could not walk into a room with maybe five, six people that he didn't know. He couldn't walk in on his own. He had to have, you know, his entourage. It was always the entourage. All it was was friends who could introduce him to people and then he would be the life and soul of the party. But that was the hard part. Um, he just could not do it. He couldn't do things on his own. Freddie was never defined by his sexuality. For himself, he didn't care. He didn't hide. He was out every night in the bars. And yet he wasn't hiding. He didn't have disguises on, nothing like that. Um, but for him, it was important that the music was first as far as the band was concerned and the, as far as he was concerned. The highs and the lows, of course, the, yes, they existed. They existed, but I never saw him depressed. But he became serious because when he was told he had AIDS, it was a death sentence. Nobody knew how long, if it was six days, six weeks, six months, six years. Nobody, no doctors, nobody. So all he knew was he had less time to do everything he needed to do. So what that did to him, it just concentrated his mind and he did more recording in those last four years than he had done over the years beforehand because he just felt this, is, this was his life. This is what his whole life had been about was music. And he just wanted to leave as much music behind as he could.